to repeat then the breaking news here, uh, Minnesota police officer Geronimo Yanez has been charged with second degree manslaughter in the killing of Philando Castile on July 6th, uh, along with two felony charges of the discharge of a weapon. Of course, you will remember that Philando Castile uh, was shot after being uh, pulled over. As we just heard there, the uh, decision was made by the Ramsey County District Attorney uh, as the deadly use of force was parsed, and it was the feelings of investigators that it was an unreasonable use of uh, deadly force uh, that resulted in the death of Philando Castile. It was also a killing that sparked uh, national outrage uh, and has now uh, taken this step. Our Jamie Yukas is in Minneapolis uh, covering this story. And uh, Jamie, we understand that you, in fact, just spoke with Castile's girlfriend, Diamond Reynolds, who, uh, again, our viewers will recall, began streaming the aftermath of the shooting on Facebook Live just seconds after it had occurred. What did she tell you? Oh, that's, I can tell you, Diamond Reynolds, just a short time ago, we broke the news to her that this press conference was going to be happening today, and we had heard that charges would come about, so we asked her about those, and when we uh, gave her the charge that we had heard about, the second-degree manslaughter charge, I can tell you she thought at that point in time that it was not enough. We did not know about the felony charges, and we'll, we'll plan to ask her about that a little bit later when we get uh, with her again, but I can tell you that she did not feel that that second-degree manslaughter charge was going to be enough. She and her attorney had been hoping for ma uh, murder charges in this case because they believe that Philando did absolutely nothing wrong and that this was very unsubstantiated, his killing. I can tell you that uh, her four-year-old daughter at the time was in the car with her. You hear her daughter on that Facebook Live video saying, Mommy, I'll stay with you. Uh, she says that her daughter asks about Philando Castile nearly every single day, uh, wants to know what happened to him, and so she's having to relive this even though it's it's been four and a half months that she's still very, very emotional, Josh, I can tell you, uh, in this case right now, that to her, this is not a black, white, purple issue, as she told me, that this is a blue issue and that she believes officers need more training. Uh, I did ask her if she would ever forgive the officer in this case, and she said that God is about forgiveness, that she could find forgiveness in her heart for this officer, but that she will never forget what happened because that this was unjustifiable to her and the fact that her daughter was in the car with her. Um, at this point in time, we hope to uh, talk to her again now that the charges have been uh, brought about in this case. Uh, we did ask her as well, you know, about a number of the protests that happened around the country. Uh, there was this case, there was the Alton Sterling case within the same week, and she said for her this goes back all the way to Trayvon Martin and Sandra Bland, and that she hopes that people have reasonable conversations, that she hopes that tonight at the dinner table people talk about this specific incident, but she also hopes that people, when they're pulled over in traffic stops, she wouldn't do anything differently. She hopes that people pull out their cell phone and start recording these types of incidents so that we have information that comes forward. Uh, she also really wants that dash cam video released in this case, Josh, and is frustrated that nobody has been able to see it. You heard the prosecutor talk about why that's not happening right now. They'll bring it about in trial, but she hopes that that does come out and that people see what actually led up to the shooting itself. She, of course, started recording that Facebook Live after the last shot was fired. We have heard from Yanez's attorney uh, who said that uh, the officer who is Latino was reacting to the presence of a gun. He said the, the reason that Yanez had pulled Castile over, in fact, was because he thought there was a possible match of a robbery suspect in part because of Castile's wide set nose. Uh, and as we then look at uh, not just this result and the results of the uh, other cases that you mentioned, but uh, the killings of uh, of of of, uh, in this case, a black boy, Tamir Rice, the 12-year-old boy in 2014 in Cleveland, uh, and another, Jamar Clark, the 24-year-old man in Minneapolis last year, police shooting deaths mm -hmm. that did not result in any charges. Is there a sense in the community uh, of how it will react to this news? Well, I can tell you right now, there have been protests happening. You, you spoke just specifically about Jamar Clark. This is a year to the day uh, that he was killed and that prosecutors announced that there would not be charges in that case. So there is the Black Lives Matters movement here in Minneapolis and in Minnesota. I can tell you it's very well organized. They, since Sunday, have been protesting the fact that there were no charges in the Jamar Clark case. Uh, they plan to continue doing that. They, they had a week of protests planned. Uh, there is some concern that this 
this could uh, impact those protests because Jamar Clark, uh, there were no charges filed against the officer in this case. And now, just a county over from here in St. Paul, they have gone ahead and filed charges. That is what so many people in the Jamar Clark case thought would be reasonable and wanted to see happen and didn't. So they could spark conversation and protests uh, on this side of the river. Of course, Minneapolis-St. Paul divided by the Mississippi River. So there was concern, and I can tell you that uh, prosecutors did wrestle with when they were going to announce these charges in Ramsey County. Uh, there had been some talk that it was going to happen potentially Friday, maybe next week, and they went ahead and did it on the scheduled day today. We had heard uh, in advance that this could happen today, uh, but there was a lot of back and forth leading up to this because specifically we are in the middle of those Jamar Clark protests. Oh, and you, again, you, you mentioned you spoke to Diamond Reynolds, uh, the girlfriend. We are seeing her Facebook uh, video actually uh, play out right now. Um, and in uh, speaking to her and uh, finding that she was in fact dissatisfied with the finding uh, with the charge of second degree manslaughter, involuntary manslaughter here, she had hoped for a murder charge. Did you have a sense uh, as to whether she is concerned that her reaction? might beget a greater one in that community. Uh, she just hopes that there's conversation and that uh, she's still just very emotional. It's very raw to her. I can tell you, Josh, that this is what's taking place. Um, she hopes that there are changes. And she really was speaking about the fact that she wants to see more training done with police officers, that she said, you know, these types of incidents are occurring. She feels like we're not hearing about them um, until now because of things like cell phones and Facebook Live. And that's the only reason that we're talking about this case in her mind. Uh, is that because she Facebook Live this, now we're able to have a discussion about this case specifically. Um, but, you know, in terms of the protesting, she thinks it needs to be done as long as people are peaceful about it and have the conversation. Uh, you heard the prosecutor's office talking there, too, saying that the community has had patience and he hopes that they continue uh, to do so in this case. Um, you know, you asked me before, too, about uh, the case where it, when he was pulled over, they did it because they suspected him of a potential robbery that had occurred in the area. She also pointed out that her boyfriend, Philando Castile, had been pulled over 52 times for various traffic violations that never led to any type of criminal charges in any of those cases. So you look at that and she believes that in this type of community there is racial profiling and so that you know people need to demonstrate and talk about it and have those conversations. She of course doesn't want violence uh, but that a conversation definitely needs to occur. It would certainly seem so. Again, uh, the news, uh, breaking news of the hour. A Minnesota police officer, Geronimo Yanez, has been charged with second degree manslaughter in the killing of Philando Castile, a black man in a St. Paul suburb uh, in, on July, July 6th. Uh, the announcement uh, just made. And again, our Jamie Ucas uh, in Minneapolis, we very much appreciate the insight.